What's up everybody? Welcome back to Old Folks TV. We are in like the third week of like a 17 week over 100 degrees uh, temperatures outside. It is driving me wild. We've been working outside all day at my regular job and I just don't have it in me to go work on the cars right now. It is brutally hot. Uh, so I'm going to show you one of the other things I do. Some of you know, some of you probably don't know. Uh, we work for Volks America and Volks Mania Magazine, and I run their YouTube channel, uh, as well as uh, the editor of Volks Mania Magazine, and we take pictures of cars and videos of cars and shows and tech and all this great stuff. It's a really awesome magazine. We're available in Barnes & Noble uh, bookstores. Actually, both issues, I think, or both, uh, both magazines are available uh, in Barnes & Noble now, so you can find them there or at VolksAmerica.com. Uh, but today what we're going to show you is, is uh, one of the videos I just recently did of a really, really, really nice uh, 60 convertible. I uh, just finished putting this video together. I'm pretty happy with it. It came out really nice. It's a really nice car. And uh, so we're just going to show you that it's like movie time. You know, you get a substitute teacher and you get to watch a movie. That's what we're doing today. <laughs> so we're going to watch that video. I'll throw links to that other channel over there. There's a bunch of great videos over there. Some really nice cars. And then you can look forward to this car being in uh, the next Volks America magazine. This is going to be one of the cars in the big book because uh, it's super nice. So without further ado, get your popcorn, get your cold drink, uh, turn the lights off, snuggle up with somebody. Let's watch this video. Hi, I'm Caleb. This is my 1960 convertible. I bought the car in summer of 2019 for my grandfather and it's been in the family since late 2016. Most Volkswagens I've seen I didn't really have a connection to, but this one between the color combo and the family history I immediately fell in love with it. One interesting thing about the call is that it was built in September of 1959. It was so new in Germany, so it has some special European uh, flair to it, like the headlights are a little bit different, the semaphores on the side. One time, my dad and I went to a call show in San Antonio and had a great time no troubles on the way home up like 15 20 minutes away from my grandparents house i suddenly lost power and car started shooting huge flames so when we got to my grandparents house did some investigating turned out i had lost two cylinders and was still able to uh run away from my uh dad and the Volkswagen he was in Um, there was one point where my 
dad, grandpa and I decided that it would just be easier to replace the engine and transmission since we were already having a few issues. So I had to go through the jumps and hoops of finding a new engine that we built together, a new transmission, and then we put everything together and then the whole process took a couple of days walking out the kinks and putting everything together and ironing out the flaws. It's a 1600cc engine in a freeway flyer and has two Weber 40s carburetors in there. So it has a little bit of get up and go. And it has, a, I think it was a stage one cam. So it has a little bit of a bite when you get on the get up and go. hit about 80 miles an hour in the current setup. Not too shabby for something that was supposed to only be hitting 60, 65 miles an hour. It seems like every time I go anywhere like a call show or gas station, people are always running up, just wanting to talk to me about what they had and comparing notes and asking me what I've done with this call. It's kind of difficult to get away from all the publicity sometimes. Uh, right now, I'm happy with the call, but down the road, when the pain starts to fail on me many, many years from now, I was going to uh, repaint it a Porsche maroon. That way I can say, yeah, it's a true Volkswagen color, but still um, not deviate too much from the way the car is now. There you go, a peek into my other world. <laughs> uh, we shot that video actually quite a while ago and I just, just got around to, to editing it. Uh, now I didn't, want, I didn't want the video to go stale before the, the car came out. We just did one on Gary's bus too. I, I'm not doing too many videos on that channel. We're trying to keep it close to the launch of a magazine. So uh, that one should be out soon now actually, that video. Uh, we'll probably have it out in a couple weeks. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed that. That was a fun little thing. Uh, Sean and I drove like an hour and a half down to go meet uh, Caleb. And on Google it looked like a huge park, but it turned out to be just kind of like a field and a couple little like ruins of buildings. And then some houses where people actually lived in. It was really weird. Uh, it was nice, but you know, nice out in the country, kind of in the middle of nowhere. It's a good setting for that convertible. I wish it would have been a little warmer. Uh, we could have put the top down, but uh, Caleb doesn't like driving with the top down. He said it's, it's kind of pain <laughs> to put it then, up and down. So, uh, But that's cool, man. It was a really nice car. We had a really good day. We ate some super awesome barbecue on the way back, uh, Sean and I. So all around, super fun. A little behind the scenes action, a nice little video. And then you can check that with the other ones at folksamerica.com or our uh, YouTube, which I will throw the link down below. 
uh, somewhere that you can click it and find us and subscribe to that. Please subscribe to that. We, we desperately need people to click on that one so we can get some, you know, fixed algorithm or whatever and get those videos out there for everybody to watch. Uh, also, on a side note, my engine, the little 1600 that we did been doing the videos on where I'm trying to get that thing running, I need some help from the collective out there. It turns really, really slow when it's hooked up to my jump stand, whatever, my start stand. If I pull the plugs, it turns like crazy. It doesn't matter which plugs. If I pull any two plugs, the thing turns like, oh my gosh. Uh, six volt starter, 12 volt battery. Everything is new. Uh, the motor ran great until the heads got loose and we had to pull it out of the bus. And all we did was tighten everything back up to the proper torque. And the only changes I made is the oil cooler and the oil pump uh, with the in and out, but it's looped right now. Got plenty of oil in it. Uh, we're just trying to get it to turn over. I haven't even tried to start it yet. So if you have any idea what you think that might be, I've had some good suggestions already. I have checked them. Uh, nothing really seems to make a difference except pulling out the plugs, but you kind of need those to run the motor. So <laughs> uh, I'm at a loss here. I'm gonna, I'm almost gonna pull that thing apart and just check and see. You know, take the, take it all the way down to a short block and then put it all back together. Uh, see if we miss something. So if you have any ideas, please let me know in the comments. Uh, also, let me know in the comments where you're from, where you're watching from. That's amazing. We get some really cool people from all over the world uh, checking us out. We do appreciate that. Hit that subscribe button uh, down below. Ring that little bell over there. And uh, make sure you keep up with all the new stuff. Videos every single week. You know, I think we've only missed like two weeks in the last two years. So fresh content every week. And uh, thanks for watching.